Hey everyone, I'm Drex and this is the Two Minute Drill where I do three quick stories twice a week, all part of one great community, the 229 Cyber and Risk Community here at This Week Health. Today's drill is brought to you by Fortified Health Security. No matter where you're at in your security journey, Fortified can help you improve your security posture through their 24-7 threat defense services or advisory solutions delivered through Central Command a first-of-its-kind platform that simplifies cybersecurity management and provides the visibility you need to mature your program. Learn more at fortifiedhealthsecurity.com. Thanks for joining me today. Here's some stuff you might want to know about. McLaren Healthcare is one of the latest reported victims of a cyber attack. They're rescheduling patients. Uh, they're asking those who have appointments to have paper copies of things like medications and allergies. McLaren runs 13 Michigan hospitals and has connections to providers across the Midwest. They're not alone, obviously. In July, six hospitals reported breaches, and those are only the ones that we know about so far. You can read all about all of that at thisweekhealth.com slash news. The CrowdStrike Root Cause Analysis, or RCA, has been published, and you can find it on their website, as you might expect. It's a fairly technical document, so I won't dive into all the details here. But in a nutshell, the content update went wrong when it encountered input fields it didn't expect, and that crashed systems all over the world. The report goes on to reassure the public that the problem is not a bug that can be exploited by hackers, and they outline steps they're taking to prevent the same problem in the future, and they describe their efforts to build more testing and quality control processes for all the CrowdStrike products. I was at Black Hat this week, and CISA Director Jen Easterly described the CrowdStrike outage as a useful exercise. Imagine that outage without the ability to roll back the update. She described it as a dress rehearsal for what could happen if China or another nation state or to attack the US. One of the areas she focused on during her keynote was resilience and the need for organizations to create plans for business continuity while down and processes to drive faster recovery to get the business back in business, in our case, healthcare delivery back to normal as quickly as possible. Finally, there's a story in the Wall Street Journal about the prisoner hostage swap last week with the Russians. Interestingly, there were two Russians that were not part of the swap last week. They're still held in U.S. facilities. Now, stick with me. The rest of this story is all going to come together. So as an interesting and kind of nerdy aside, from time to time, you may hear of a ransomware group named Wizard Spider. That name comes from cyber analysts who track various adversaries. The spider part of Wizard Spider's name comes from them being categorized as a financially driven ransomware gang. The wizard part of the name Wizard Spider comes from the ransomware tool they prefer to use, in particular, a program called TrickBot. Well, one of those Russian prisoners, one of those prisoners not involved in the swap last week, was convicted of developing that piece of ransomware, TrickBot. And that tool has been used extensively against U.S. hospitals and other businesses. By the way, the other Russian not included in the exchange was convicted of Bitcoin laundering, which is obviously the preferred tough-to-trace currency that's used by cyber thugs all over the world. Thanks again to our two-minute drill sponsor, healthcare cyber partner, Fortified Health Security. With a 98% client retention rate and three consecutive best-in-class awards, Fortified's exclusive focus on healthcare cybersecurity makes them the go-to partner for healthcare organizations wanting to strengthen their cybersecurity posture. Find out more at fortifiedhealthsecurity.com. That's it for today's two-minute drill. Thanks for being here. Stay a little paranoid. I'll see you around campus.